I'm Shelly Turner with the Builder All team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your first email sequence right after you've set up your first subscriber list. As you can see, I'm logged into the Mailing Boss dashboard and I can access my very first list that I create by this screen right here. The last subscriber list that I created will show up on my dashboard. So here I made a subscriber list C. And to get into the subscriber list dashboard, I'm going to click overview. On the subscriber list dashboard, you're going to go over here to where it says create a new sequence, and you're going to go ahead and name your sequence. And when you name your sequence, you just click continue. And in the next screen, it puts the name that I typed in there, and it puts the list that I'm connected to because I was in the subscriber list dashboard when I started to create this new sequence. I can also choose a segment, but chances are if this is your first subscriber list and your first email sequence, you probably don't have a segment available. So I'm going to click Save and Edit. And now I'm in the area where I can start editing the emails that I want to go into this email sequence. I'm going to make this a three email sequence. I've got one in here already, so I'm going to click Add Email and Add Email. So now I have three emails that are a part of the sequence, and I can start editing them to get them ready for uh, being sent out to my subscribers. So I'm going to go ahead and start with that first message, the welcome message. So I'm in the welcome message, and I want you to notice that I have a campaign name for this email, and then, of course, the subject line. Remember that the campaign name only you will see, but the subject line is what your subscriber will see when they receive your email. So let's go ahead and name this first email and I'm going to go ahead and say zero day. That's to remind me that this is the first email that's going out and it's going to go out immediately when the subscriber joins the list. I'm going to change the subject line and I've put it as welcome to the first day of your email course. And now I can go ahead and edit and I can change the text here over on the left hand side I can grab elements I can just click and drag them over and drop them into the email including text content and even pictures and I can just edit those and make the email look as much like my website or my branding as I want to once I get that email done then I want to go and determine what day this is going to send out so here's the welcome email and I'm going to click where it says zero days. And now I can choose to send this email either after the person subscribes or after they open a different email. I'm going to choose after they subscribe. I'm going to set it on zero day, which means it's going to send out immediately. Once I do that, I'm going to click save changes. And now I've got that email set for zero days after they subscribe, which means it's going to be sent out immediately. And the next thing I need to do is click Activate. So I'm going to click that button there. And now that email is not only configured the way I want it, but it is activated. Now, if I wanted to get rid of this email, all I'd have to do is click the trash can and I can delete it. Okay? So I've configured my first email. Let's go ahead and click another email and configure it for the second email to go out. So I'm going to click that top one. And for this one, I'm going to call this second email two-day email. So what I mean by that is this is my second email and I'm going to send this out on the second day. And then I'm going to change the subject. And I put lesson two of your email course. Again, I can click in here to edit. I can bring any elements from the left hand side. All I need to do is click and drag and then drop them where I want them. If I make a mistake and drop an element in the wrong place, I can click on it and then choose the arrow to pull it up and replace it exactly where I want it. Once I'm done editing the email, then I'm going to go back to that email and I'm going to decide when it's going to go out. So I'm going to go ahead and click where it says zero day and I'm going to choose after they subscribe and I'm going to send this one on the second day. So this is going to go two days later after they subscribe and then I'm going to click save changes. And now I'm going to uh, go ahead and edit the third email. So right here's the third email. Before I do, let's go ahead and make sure we activate Lesson 2. So I'm going to click the word Activate to activate this email. And now the last email message in here, I'm going to go ahead and click that to edit. 
and I'm going to rename this campaign. I named it third email four day, which means I wanted to go out on the fourth day, and I'm going to change the subject. And I changed it to lesson three of your email course. Now I can go in and edit some of the text. So now I've got an email that's been edited, and I've changed the text, added some pictures, made it the way I want it. But before I activate the email, I'm going to make sure to set what day it's going to go out on. So I'm going to click zero day. I'm going to choose after they subscribe, and this one's going to go out on four day, which means it's going to go out four days after they subscribed. And then I'm going to click save changes. And don't forget to activate the email to make sure that it's ready to go out. And now you can see that all my emails are set up so that I've got my first email going out on zero day, which means it's going out immediately. I've got my second email that's going out two days after they subscribe, and my third email going out four days after they subscribe. And notice that all of them are activated. If I wanted to stop any one of these emails from sending out to the subscribers, all I'd have to do is click the pause button and they will stop sending. So now that I have everything set up the way that I want it, I'm gonna go down here and click done. And now we have a summary of everything that's happening with our email sequence. We've got our first email and it gives us another summary. It's going out zero days when they subscribe and it is currently active. It also gives us some analytics. It hasn't sent anything yet, so everything is at zero. Then we've got our second email going out. It's going out on day two after they subscribe. And again, it's active. And we've got some analytics, which are all zeros right now. And then lesson three, which is the third email, it's going to send out four days after they subscribe. It is currently active. And we've also got some analytics for that as well. And then down below the emails, we've got some basic analytics for the subscriber list itself. So we can actually see how many total subscribers we have, how many errors or emails that have been blacklisted or unsubscribed, how many unconfirmed subscribers, how many have been manually disabled, how many unapproved subscribers, and how many subscribers have been moved to another list. So we have lots of information on this page. Once I review this page and make sure everything's correct, I can go back to the dashboard. If I need to edit something, I can go to the blue button right here, edit this sequence, and that takes me back into my sequence to be able to edit all of the email campaigns that are inside that sequence. I'm gonna go ahead and choose to go back to the dashboard, so I'm gonna click the blue button to go back to the main dashboard. And that's how you add your first email sequence on your subscriber list inside of Mailing Boss.